trees. We've got trees, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at this. Welcome back, everybody, to the Planet Crafter. I am the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to do some exploration. Also, we are 58% of the way towards the trees stage and just about ready to get our Tier 2 ore extractor. Um, that's going to happen in about one minute or so. Um, so let's wait for that to happen so we can plop one of those down uh, the the mineral or ore, whatever you want to call it, that I need the most right now is osmium. Uh, we are completely out of osmium. And so the plan is uh, to build one of those extractors and place it in the nearest cave that has osmium in it. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Uh, let's see, a couple things. I, I know this is like completely after the fact for all of you who are watching this, so it's almost pointless for me to even say anything, but <laughs> I'm going to say it anyway. Um... I, uh, you know, I'm way, way ahead of you guys, and the reason for that is because I'm trying to get this series finished before April 10th, uh, when 1.0 releases, um, because if I don't, then nobody's going to want want to watch the older version. Uh, they're going to all want to watch the newer version, right? <laughs> so, I mean, I shouldn't say nobody, but the majority of people, especially new people, you know, that might want to, you know, watch Planet Crafter. So, uh, that's why I think it's a good idea for me to get this series done before, uh, or at least by April 10th. Uh, that also may mean that I'll start releasing multiple episodes per day to get that done. Because I don't know how many more episodes it's going to take for me to get to, you know, the end of the game. Which, you know, is going to at the very least be the final stage and then whatever else we might do after we reach it. Um, so the other thing too is a lot of you guys have left comments. Oh, there we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. A lot of you guys have left comments about, you know, holding down the control button to, to move stacks over. Um... Uh, and again, if you thought I was ignoring you in the previous episodes, it's just because I hadn't until recently seen that. And I'm still not used to doing that either. So I have to uh, get used to it. And uh, you also told me uh, in the comments how that uh, some of you, several of you did actually, uh, how the control option now works. And where I was uh, getting messed up with it is I didn't realize you had to hold the control key down constantly. Um, so if we're going to go and put down, like, say, a bunch of foundations, for example, um, I have to hold down control and keep my finger on it, and then I can chain build um, a bunch of these, right? Uh, if I don't do that, then every time I put one down, I have to go back into the menu and reselect it and put it down, etc. So very nice um, uh, that that's the way that works. And again, I was just didn't realize I had to hold control. I, I was thinking for whatever reason, right? Uh, who can know the mind of an old guy with a beard? Uh, but <laughs> uh, what I was thinking, it was a toggle. I didn't realize I had to actually hold it down constantly. All right. Well, anyway, uh, so that uh, that takes care of those things. And again, I know you guys will be seeing this after the fact, but um, I got to tell you at some point, right? And I can't tell you what happened in the past, so... Uh, let's take a look and see what it takes to make this guy. So, oh shit, <laughs> we need osmium to make it. That's what we do. We're out of, oh, damn it. <sighs> okay. So, uh, did, did this cost us osmium? It didn't. I think what we're going to have to maybe do is... We might have to take one of our T4 drills back down to get the osmium back to make this and, and, and then re rebuild this at a later point in time. That's option one. Option two is that we... Oh, actually... Um, we could go back to the tier two exoskeleton for now. That would give us two Oz's back. And it would give us the super alloy rod back, too. Because, I mean, we're not even using the extra slots at the moment. And then once we build the osmium back up, you know, then, um, you know, then we remake this. But that only gives us two out of three. We could... 
can we also recycle our mining speed tier four? Because I don't, that's just not that big of a deal. I would rather do that than, you know, than take down, um, than take down one of our, our T4 pressure drills. But if we're going to do that, first I have to remake a tier two exoskeleton because otherwise all my shits, well, either that or we just put our stuff in a, in a storage for a second. Uh, well, okay, we don't want to take our backpack down, uh, but the rest of this stuff we can temporarily put in storage. This this we want to break down if we can, and that we want to break down. All right, so can I put... Uh, no, that's... Wait a minute, that's the compass. It's the mining speed one that I want. This one. Okay, put that in our inventory. Can we put it in here? Yes, we can. Okay, good, 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 good. So this should work. Okay. Um, now... If I, we sh I think we have just four slots without an exoskeleton at all, I think. Yes, okay. So we're good to go there. Nice. Okay, we'll pick all this stuff. Oh, we got our exoskeleton three back out of it. That's even better. And then I don't have to make a new one. Okay, so we'll just put that back there. Um, mining speed, microchip map. Torch to blueprint thingy, construction thingy, compass thingy, deconstruction thingy, that, that, and that. Um, right, and that's that's all we had. Okay, so we're we're still in the in the exact same uh, as setup as we were before. We just don't have that extra row, which again we weren't using anyway. So that gives us our three Oz, and it also gives us back. Uh, a super alloy rod and a uranium rod too. Okay, now we want to make sure. So we have all those, and we just need to grab two iridium rods. If there's one thing I have an abundance of, it's iridium. Let's put this uranium rod back in here for now. We don't need it. We don't need the super. I think I still have super in. Yeah, in this overflow. We also don't need the silicon. There we go. Okay, so we have all of the stuff that we need to make that. Let's harvest both of these. I think this water bin is now full, yeah. So I've been putting my extra water back in the bio lab water. We need to actually drink one of those, too. Let's take two waters with us, and we'll take two O2s with us. The methanes can go in here. And we just need some food, and then we're ready to go. Let's also take a couple extra foods with us, because we're going to be out and about uh, exploring today. That is our main goal for this episode. Let's go back up here for a moment. So we're at 68% on of the way towards trees. And um, we very likely could hit that by the end of this episode. Let's do a game save. And we're off. So the closest Osmium cave that we have is the one that's just right over uh, straight ahead of us in the zone after the aluminum zone place. I've also noticed that we're getting a lot more of these roots with the uh, zeolite crystals on them, which is cool. I'm not going to harvest those until I need to, because we do have a little bit of a supply of zeolite. Now, there still could be um, a couple osmiums in this biome. Um, 
Certainly could be, but... There's another... One of those, uh... Red crustal thingies. What is this called? A pulsar quartz. Okay, we don't need that right now. Alright, so this is the cave that I'm hoping we can farm osmium from. Let's put it up front here first and just see what it does. Haha, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> and it's a it's got more storage too. Alright, there we go. We finally have a renewable source of osmium. Look at these drills too, that is cool. It's freaking awesome. In fact, that's so damn awesome, we might need to use this as our screenshot. Uh, it'll be an option anyway, so let's take a screeny of that. Maybe also get a different angle on it because it, it kind of looks neat, uh, you know, cooler from the front, I think. And I'm going to actually adjust that angle a little bit more. Fantastic. Okay. Renewable source of osmium, baby. My guess is it'll probably also be pulling iridium and sulfur, too, because those ores are also found in this cave. Well, and silicon. So apparently it still gets the basics, too. Um, now, let's see here. If we... There's our lakeside base there. Um, let's go out this direction. I want to stop off at our lakeside base, too. Because we do have a couple of food processors going there. Um, you know what? I'm going to grab this stuff and we'll put it at the lakeside base. Because I'm going to be there more frequently than these little shacks. There's another zeolite root. And at some point, you know, uh, we'll have to haul all this stuff back to the main base. You know what? I bet you we could do, as uh, you know, once we get more zeolite, or not zeolite, um, osmium built up, is I bet you we could throw one in here for uranium mining. Because, you know, at some point, again, I don't know exactly when we cross this threshold, but at some point, you know, there's too much, too much diminishing return. Oh, look at that. Plant or Rima. Can we harvest that? We can. 450 oxygen multiplier. Okay. Well, that's neat. What about... Oh, no, that's a cobalt. I think that's the first flower I've seen growing in the wild. How nifty is that? There's a bunch of these little puddle things all over the place, and they're they're pretty neat looking. Okay. So, it's the only flower on the whole damn planet, and I went and picked it. What's the matter with me? <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, man, we got some good stuff in here. Uh, we want... The supers, the sulfurs, the rod, and honestly, probably the aluminum. And I'll leave the rest of that in there. We'll drop this all off at our lakeside base. Um, okay. Food grower tier two. Maybe. We'll see. Um, okay, there, uh, we'll leave that flower there. So at least we didn't pick the one and only flower on the entire planet, so I feel a little bit better about myself now. Um, I can't remember what I was just going to say. Okay. Let's go this way. 
Oh, there's plants growing on the Stargate. Oh, wow, look at that. That's crazy. <laughs> that is insane. This game is just not disappointed. It, is, it really delivers on the enjoyment factor, I think, you know? Um, and that's why, you know, it has an overwhelmingly positive rating on Steam. It just really knocked it out of the park with this. And it also goes to show that you know, you can make a good, enjoyable game that has no violence in it. I mean, we're not going around killing shit. Nothing's trying to kill us. Except for the environment, but that's different, you know? Um, and I just like that. It's a, it's a, uh, it's refreshing for, to, you know, do something different. Everything is so green over here. I haven't been over here in a while. This is neat. Okay, I have not done any organiza uh, organization, as you can see, at this base. Um, so yeah, we're just going to throw shit wherever at this point. Um, let's do harvest these so we can get more going. And we'll, yeah, we'll just keep those two beans with us. We'll keep our water with us and we'll just drink straight from that thingy. Um, okay, what are we doing? Okay, so we're 78% there. Good, good. Okay. Um, so the goal today is to explore this area directly in front of us. And if we have time, um, there's some more places off to the north and the northwest that we have not yet been to either. Now, I did do this area in my first playthrough. And as I recall, I think we'll leave the aluminum there for the moment. As I recall, there's, there's stuff down uh, on the ground in between, but most of the loot... I think is up towards the top. See, all I'm seeing down here is just basic ores. Well, okay, we got a chest. Um, that's pretty decent stuff. But we're going to be kind of selective um, about what we take. I think I'll leave all of that stuff in there. There is aluminum in here, so that's good to know for future reference. Alright, I believe we can go in that structure. Is that? Oh, we're getting another super alloy meteor storm. Oh, this is a terrible place for that to happen. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. I mean, it's a terrible place because it's going to be hard to find all this stuff in these cliffs. But we'll, we'll manage. that go maybe it rolled down the hill I'm not finding any of the Oh, here we go. Okay. There's one. Oh, there's a bunch of them here. Oh, shit! Oh! I completely wasn't paying attention to my oxygen. 
Ah, damn. You know what that means? That means we lost everything in our inventory because when, we, when we're playing on intense difficulty, it wipes your inventory. <sighs> Thank God it doesn't wipe this stuff or that'd be like rage quit time. All right, well, we lost some water and some oxygen and a couple things of food. Um, and, you know, a few super alloys and uraniums. It's not, it's not an absolutely catastrophic loss, but it just sucks, you know. Is what it is. And, and completely my fault for not paying attention. I was, I was trying to figure out why I wasn't able to find any of the supers. Because uh, they were all kind of bunched up in a weird way. Um, okay. We're going to need to make some O2 because I don't have my gas generator over on this end of the world. That was embarrassing. Um, let's just pretend that that never happened, okay? If you guys don't tell anybody, I won't tell anybody. Moving right along. <laughs> Actually, you know what, too? Let's take a food right now just to top off. Well, we're going to have a mess of uh, super alloy to pick up over here. And as I'm fond of saying, that's a nice problem to have. Oh, geez. Okay. Let's go down through here. Did that... Oh, I wonder, did that death, like, cancel the storm? Because it seemed like it got over instantaneously. All right. See, a bunch of them just kind of fell up on the cliff here. Actually, maybe it wasn't such a bad thing for this storm to happen inside of here because it's it kind of like grouped them all or not all of them but it's several of them together for easy access yeah this isn't so bad good lord they're all over the place how many i wonder how many of these meteor showers we will get this is the second one that we've you know that I've seen in our playthrough here and I mean we haven't even exhausted the super alloy from the first storm I still have like two and a half full chests alright it doesn't look like any of it rolled all the way down here. As far as I can tell. What about out this way? Yeah, there's one there. Okay. Well, I tell you what I'm going to do, you guys. I'm going to I'm going to cut the camera and just go around and pick up as much of this as I can. Take it over to our lakeside base, and when I'm done with that and ready to get back to exploring, I'll bring you guys back at that point. Oh, look at this. I found a new cave with osmium. I didn't even know this was here. Oh, cool. It even goes underwater. This is neat, man. I did not know this cave was here. Where are we at? Oh, we must be in uh, the canyon area. Yeah. All right, so we were, this is the area we've been in, and 
I was over here gathering more stuff and we just came out into the the canyons well how about that we had uh, plenty of extra osmium all along here's a chest no you're not gonna catch me this time uh, let's grab the Oz and the two gold nuggets. I think I'll leave the rest of that stuff in there. Okay, that's the way we came in. Where does this go? Looks like it might be another entrance. No, it's just a like a chamber. Okay. I think I, I have a, a full chest of this back at the base. I think I've you know I've gotten most of it. I hadn't really checked on the on the north or north northwest side though. Uh, which I want to do before we resume our exploration. Even though we're kind of exploring right now, huh? Yeah, let's grab the Oz. I'm not worried about the sulfur. Even a chunk of ice left there. And uh, we need to... We need to check... Oh! Whoa! Look at that! That's new! It's like uh, Jack and the Beanstalk. Only, in this case, it's Bearded OG and the Beanstalk. I'm too damn old to climb up that thing, though. That is cool. <laughs> All right. Like I said, game's... Oh, that's just grass. Uh, game is not disappointing. No siree. Okay, let's go back through. Uh, I've got a few more spots there. This is... It's just so cool, you know, being down here and seeing it with water and flora. Because I, you know, I do remember this zone from when I first played, and it was all just very dry and barren, you know. It looks like there might be a wreck or something over here. There is. Air filter. Nice. That means our uh, oxygen will last longer. Look at this. Oh, this is like a little fighter ship or a shuttle. Uh, oh, we're taking that. We're leaving the rest of that, though. There's a thing here. Um, you know what? I... I don't have any more O2 bottles, so pause the screen if you want to read that. Um, I'm going to read it when we get back to the base because it'll be on our screen. Okay, we got to go. I'm risking it for the biscuit here. O2 by chance? Oh, geez. No, we're taking this, though. Uh, actually... These are, even though I can make those easily enough, they're, they really are more valuable. Okay, we gotta go, we gotta go, we gotta go. We'll, le uh, we'll leave those osmiums for later. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to go drop this stuff off. Oh, yeah, see, there's even more up here. Uh, then we'll come back and investigate this wreck. And I, I want to also check on the west side of the place here for... What was that pink crystal? Is that another one of those quartz thingies? Uh, I want to check on the west side of this geological thingamadoodle for any more super alloys too. So be back in a bit.
What in the heck? We have larva, you guys. Wow, I mean, we haven't even... Have we just, did we just reach the tree stage? Use it in the incubator to create new species. Found outside when insect stage is reached. What? We have the tree stage. We, we got to get through first. What's going on here? <laughs> I'm confused. Uh, Houston? All right, we're going to need to make... I, I'm actually going to build a, an oxygen house for us. Uh, because I keep consuming the bottles, you know. I, I don't get that. That's, like, totally confusing me. Okay, so we need three... No, we need four things of iron to build a house and also have a uh, crafting station. Okay, that should be good enough. I don't, I, I don't get that. I mean, we're not even anywhere close to the insect stage. You know what? Actually, I'm not going to put this all the way over there. Let's put it right here. I'm not complaining per se, but it also concerns me because maybe things aren't working the way they're supposed to. Oh shit. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. We got to get in here. Let's deconstruct this. I need to remember to check that log from that, what looked like a, a fighter pilot ship. Fertilizer tier two. Nice. Um, but I didn't want to dilly dally because we were running out of O2. Look at this place. Oh, wow, there's some good stuff in here. You know what, though? I think. I think the game scales the loot to the player's level because I don't. There's no way you would find that high end of loot in this if you came in here at, at the early stage. I wouldn't think anyways. A mutagen. Yeah, see, that's pretty high-end stuff, man. Um, let's eat this now. And we're going to... Yeah, we gotta... There, there's a lot of shit in here. Uh, let's go back and set a, a chest down. In our little hut here. So, yeah, I don't know that for a certainty, but it seems to me like that's what's going on, that it's scaling to our level. Because there's no way they'd be giving you mutagens and tier 2 fertilizer and rocket engines right from the get-go. Because this is very close to the start area, so in most cases, you know, the player's probably going to come through here a lot sooner than I did. Uh, that, that was definitely the case for me when I played before. Um, let's just pop, pop her head over here for a second. I believe there's super alloys that are just here natively. In other words, not from that meteor storm. Uh, that one's probably from the meteor storm there. Along these shelves. Yeah, see that one I'm mining, but this one prank came from the meteor shower. No, I haven't forgotten that we're still looting that place. That one came from the meteor shower. I think... I think we want to pick up the meteor shower ones now because I think they'll disappear. 
after I log out or after a period of time or something. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, well, anyway, let's get back to... Let's get back to looting this wreck. There is a lot of stuff in here. We'll go back and top off our O2. Uh, as soon as we get back to our main base, I want to build that filter because it makes our O2 last longer. Um, why don't we build a second locker as well? There we go. Alright, let's finish this wreck. It's kind of a little tricky getting in there. Grab all of that. Microchip. We have water, right? Yeah. A pulsar quartz. Yeah, that is really high-end stuff. Can we open this locker? Apparently not. This just goes out here where we can get more super. Okay, a uh, note to self, right, for future playthroughs. Um, this is a pretty close to the early game area that you can get super alloy. Because the stuff on the ground is probably there all the time. Very nice. Okay, we'll come back and take all of these apart for the circuit boards. And... I think that's it for the chests in here. Okay, let's go drop this stuff off. Okay, we get circuit boards from that. I still have to go back into all the other ships we've gone through to get those, get more of that stuff too. All right, I think that's pretty much it. Ooh, is there... No, I can't... Uh... Is there something on top of here? I can't get up there from that direction. Can we scooch up this way? Yes, we can. I like these skylights. Okay, I'm not seeing anything up here. So I think what you would do at this point then as you would just follow along um yeah there's another meteorite one that one looks like it's probably more in the ground but you just follow along these shelves and you you grab a whole mess of super alloys which is not something we need to actually do of course because we've got lots of it though i would like to pick up any of the loose ones and that's a loose one there ah! Come on, get back up there. You know what we need is a... Uh, uh, we need like a an extra boost, like a temporary gain in altitude on this jetpack. For situations like this. I think we've already checked that chest. That one's just there. Let's run around over here. Well, I guess we can't go any further that way. Because I picked up a bunch, you know, down there too.
That one's just in the ground too. All right. Well, um, I think we have explored everything we need to in the, in this area. Uh, again, there's nothing down below other than basic ore and a couple of chests, which I think I've hit all of them. But this um, this wreck was very lucrative for us to do. And it also makes me wonder, too, if a person ought to maybe not go balls out on looting all of the wrecks. Because if you get better loot later on in the game, it would be worth it to wait. Because, you know, once you loot these ships, that's it. They don't come back. I don't think they do anyway. I know we're supposed to have something called procedural wrecks in the game, but I don't know exactly how that works. That would seem to imply, though, that, um, you know, that maybe we could continue looting them. Not really sure. Okay, we're going to, uh, we're going to grab the most valuable stuff. So... We want that, we want that. Let's just eat that to top off. Definitely want the tier two fertilizer. Um, the rocket engine, that. The mutagen. These larvae, which I'm not even supposed to have right now. Still baffled about that. Let's take the cloth. The uranium. And, um, I guess we'll just take uranium for the rest of it. And I'll, at some point in the future, come back and grab the rest of that stuff. Okay. We could go ahead and drink this water now, and that'll give us one more spot for this. All right, I'm going to head back to our lakeside base. And then we're going to kind of do the same exercise there where we grab the most valuable stuff that we've looted in total and bring it back to the main base. And before I let you guys go in this episode, I'd like to make that air filter because that's going to be super useful. Of course, what's ultimately going to be the best thing is when we can just breathe the atmosphere itself. But that, I, I mean, I don't know how far out we are from that. We're certainly not there yet, so. Okay, so this chest is loaded with supers. This chest is almost loaded with supers. And the majority of that um, was from the meteorites. All of this stuff we want to take back with us, with maybe the exception of the two um, sulfurs, which is a little easier for us to come by. Uh, we don't actually need to take the beans back with us because we're heading straight home. Um, and then we put all the osmium in here. I want to take all the osmium so we can remake that. Um, in fact, we could probably do that in here, can't we? Yeah. Well, we don't have the super alloy rod or a uranium rod. But I want to remake this because we're going to need the extra slot for the air filter. And I want to take all of this too. So we need to make, f well, we don't need the, the iridium rods, but I want to take the other things. So we need to make three more spots. Um, well, actually we need four more spots because we need to keep water with us. You know what? Let's just leave the larva here. I mean, what the hell am I going to do with them? We're not ready to do anything with those. So we'll just remember that they're here. And, uh, yeah. Let's grab a water. And I still want to take uh, three more things. We're not ready to do anything yet with circuit boards, so we might as well leave them here and we'll just know we have a whole bunch of circuit boards. Well, not a whole bunch, but a decent amount of circuit boards there. Grab all of that stuff. And what the hell? We'll grab, we'll grab that sulfur. No, actually, let's grab our new flower. And you know what we might do with this is we might 
Uh, that's better than Tusca, right? Because I think Tusca's 400. This is 450. Well, what I was going to say is we could plant that in our base in that flower pot. Right. Okay. Let's head on back to the main base. And we have the nuclear fusion generator. Wow. Okay, cool. Let's go. Oh, actually, I'm going to save just in case something crazy happens. The game has been, you know, knock on wood. I do have a wooden desk. Uh, has been stable for us, so that's good. This is a purple storm. This isn't like another super alloy storm, is it? Hmm, I don't know. Okay. Let's head back. We'll go through here and check on our osmium extractor. <laughs> That's a beautiful sight. It is a beautiful sight, but I don't have enough room to do anything with it, so I'll come back and deal with that later. Trees! We've got trees, ladies and gentlemen! Oh! Look at this! I was completely not expecting this. I thought we had to plant trees. Apparently they plant themselves. Oh, wow, that is so neat. All right, screenshot time. I should actually probably wait till it gets a little bit lighter out. Let's take a screenshot anyway. Actually, here, I'm going to redo that. Oh, that is so cool. Okay. <laughs> we got trees. Yeah. It, did we, like, just completely blow through the tree stage and get into the insects? Is that why I was seeing larvae? But, I mean, that was, like, 30 minutes ago. I don't know, man. Oh, look at that. That's just gorgeous. Wow. What's it look like from up here? If these uh, rails were not in the way, that'd be a that'd be a really good screenshot too. We could uh, that could look good. Yeah, let's let's do this because um, when I do my thumbnails, you know the Planet Crafter logo is in the upper left hand corner, so that could that could look really good too. All right, well, hey, we got trees. We got trees and larvae, and we're not supposed to have larvae yet. I don't think. Let's go see where, where we're actually at. Yeah, see, we're, we're only 6% of the way into the tree stage. We're not even in the insect stage yet. But you know what I've noticed about this game is it does seem to start giving you some of the next stage's effects before you reach it. So maybe maybe that's what's going on here. Maybe that's what's going on. All right, so let me get some stuff put away. We're going to make the air filter, and then uh, we need to wrap up this episode. We just got the uh, tree spreader. Um, I wonder if that's just so you can place, choose where to place trees in addition to what the plant is just kind of doing automatically. That would be my guess. Okay, so this Arima plant. Yeah, it does four this does 450, whereas this is only doing 400. So we really should place that in one of our one of these at Yeah, uh yeah, one of these for for now. Pretty. Okay. Grab a bite to eat there. We'll put this back in here for the for the moment. I will uh, use some of those flower pots to decorate the base a little bit more later. Let's 
grab all of those. Uh, in fact, we might as well empty this too. All right, now I want to make the oxygen filter. So we need a fabric, an Oz, a super. Well, actually, you know what? Before we do that, we, we need to make, we need to remake this. So we need two Oz's, a uranium, and a super. A rod, that is. So we got that rod there. We should have a... Don't we have a super rod? Oh, I bet you we used it to make that... Uh... Yeah, we used it to make that. Okay, so we'll make a new super rod. So I think we need eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We need and an aluminum. Okay, let's make the super rod. Oh, I'm short one super. Um, and two Osmian. Excellent. Okay, so we got that back. Um, now, we want to make the air filter. Um, so we need two plastic nuggets, a super, an Oz, and a fabric. And we bought, uh, brought two of those plastic nuggets back with us. All right, before we put, uh, before we build this, I just want to go outside, and I'm going to time how fast our O2 goes down before the filter and then after, and just see what the difference is. Oh, here, hold on a sec. Okay, so I'm getting my stopwatch ready here. Okay, here we go. Ready, go. That is just so gorgeous. Maybe we should do a screenshot from here. I mean, there's like a hundred different screenshots we could take. Auto Crafter, yeah, baby. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's try this one. That looks nice. Okay. So let's stand right by the door. I'm going to stop this at a minute. And uh, right now. Okay, so our oxygen meter was right in the middle of the three. It, 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 so it took 60 seconds for that much to go down. Okay, so now what we're going to do is make this and install it. Uh, minus 2.2 seconds. What the hell does that mean? Surely it's going to give us more than just 2.2 seconds. Oh, uh, I wonder if that means we consume 2.2 less O2 per second. That's probably what that means. Okay, so let's try this test again. Uh, I'm just going to let my timer run for a minute. And we'll see how far down it goes. Ready, go. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Try it again. Ready, go okay you know I've noticed that the waterfall seems to be expanding because now it's kind of coming out the other side too not just this side in addition to coming out the center The other thing that's kind of funny about this too is 
with the increase of water coming out of that, you'd think the lake would rise even higher, but I don't know, maybe underground springs or something. All right, um, we are coming up on one minute, right now. It's it's in between the three. I saw zero difference. Reduces oxygen oxygen consumption depending upon the terraformation level. So are you saying that our terraformation is not high enough yet for this to be effective? That's how I interpret that. Or maybe it does indeed mean that it's only 2.2 seconds better overall. Because, you know, that would have gotten it more or less in the middle of the three. That's probably what that actually means. Okay, so here's the deal. We're just not high enough terraformation for the filter to be super effective. So, But when we get to the next terraformation level, because the thing about the trees is they really start spreading the O2. Uh, we should see those numbers improve. I think that's what's going on there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. Uh, it's been a fun episode. We got to explore some new territory. We found another osmium cave. We got our tier two extractor down, so we have a continual supply of osmium. Uh, and we reached the tree stage. We are now 9.3% on the way to the insects stage, which is just amazing. Uh, we still have more exploring to do. So I think... Well, we got to make this nuclear thingy. Ooh, okay, that's where we need the Pulsar Quartz. So we're going to make one of these. Look at that, 1,485 energy compared to 331. I just love the way that the, the next tier of things exponentially increase. It's really cool how that happens. Um, so we're going to make this in the next episode. Uh, we also now have the Auto Crafter, which we'll make. It's not too terribly expensive, considering we have, you know, Super Alloy coming out of our ears. Uh, so we'll make those two things, and um, um, and we'll make a tree spreader too, and just kind of check that out, just to do it, right? And then go from there. So thanks everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye bye.